1045, the team, your home for New York sports. Very cool moment. Uh, author of uh, Brady versus Manning, and of course, New York Daily News is Gary Myers with us right now. Uh, Gary, the the fun story here in New York, especially for people waiting for the Patriots dynasty to show any kind of cracks, has been the the breakup between Brady, Belichick, Kraft. You had had, um, had some rumors out and that you thought it was very possible for Belichick to go to the Giants. Where did that come from? Well, it was just kind of a connecting the dot um, story in that um, – now, I, I, I've never said it was going to happen, so I just want to set the record right. straight on that. I was, I was just saying that if, if the stories about the turmoil in New England actually leads to the, to the end of this run with the three um, main characters, meaning you know Kraft, Brady, and Belichick, then Belichick could be the one to go because obviously Kraft owns the team and, and, and Brady... Uh, is the quarterback, and they don't have a backup quarterback, so he's not going anywhere. So if, if anybody was going to go, it was going to be Belichick. And then uh, I just wrote, you know, I was quoting somebody close to Belichick, in which he was saying how he's always kind of dreamed of one day going back and being the head coach of the Giants, and that if he was to leave New England, the Giants would be the only place that he want to go, that he would want to go. So I, I was kind of uh, trying to advance the story a little bit you know, following the story of all the turmoil in the women last week and saying, if indeed this is as bad as it's been portrayed, and and now they're just issuing denials because they're about to start a playoff run, uh, but indeed um, it, the, the wheels are in motion where it could be the end, then this is a result, this is one of the results that could happen, is that, you know, the team that he always wants wanted a coach has an opening, and uh, it would be a no-brainer uh, for them to get together if things did fall apart in New England. So that was that was the basically, you know, where it all came from. New York Daily News is Gary Myers with us right now. So um, th- that being said, I I get that. Do you still believe, with all the den- denials, that the turmoil is there? I, I listen. I, I can't vouch for um, the ESPN story. You know. Uh, anecdote by anecdote in there and example by example of what um, the the writer um, pointed out. But I, I do think that um, uh, there, it's, it's probably more contentious now than, than it's been in, in, in past years, which is what you would expect. I mean, they've all been together for nearly 20 years already. I, I'm surprised this stuff really hasn't come up earlier. I mean, this, this is a game... You know, driven by ego and power and, and money, and you have three very um, dominant type personalities. I mean, Robert Kraft is a billionaire. He didn't get this way by letting, you know, people tell him what to do. And, and, and Belichick, as we know, is, you know, a very dominating personality around this team. And, and Tom has, you know, a lot of pride and a lot of ego, and and he's very protective of his job. And um, then you throw into the equation this whole thing with the personal trainer and whether you know Belichick had given him too, too much freedom around the team and now he was cutting back on it and how Tom was relating, reacting to that. So I, I do think this, this stuff there, to what degree, I mean, I'm not there every day. Um, right. I, I do have a lot of good contacts in New England, so I, I tend to know what's going on there. But, um, you know, to, to say exactly how bad it's gotten, uh, I don't think we're really going to know this until they play their last game this season. Because all of the, I, I just discount all the denials now because basically what else are they going to say? What's the latest on Matt Patricia in the New York Giants? Yeah, well, we're hearing um, that he, he's the guy and that they want, and I'm hearing that he likes the Giants over the Lions. Now, that, that still leaves a big step between where we're at right now and, and then the Giants uh, making it official. I mean, they just finished their last interview yesterday. They've had one round of interviews. They can actually speak to him again. Um, if the Patriots make it to the Super Bowl, they can talk to him in the, in the off week after the championship game. But, um, you know, the, the Giants' competition is definitely the Lions, and then their general manager is Bob Quinn, who uh, was in the women for a lot of years with Patricia, and apparently they're very good friends. But in my way of thinking, 
if you have a chance to go to the Giants, a team with a lot of tradition of winning, with four Super Bowl trophies in the lobby versus the Lions, who've been around forever, but are one of the handful of teams that have been around forever that have never made it even to one Super Bowl. And I, I think it's kind of an easy decision, but that's just me. You know, right. I'm from New York. I'm, I'm aware of the fact that the Giants, despite what's happened this year, are still considered a really classy organization. And um, I just think it, it would be hard for me to believe that somebody would would choose the Lions over the Giants, especially because the Giants have the second pick in the draft, and whoever the new coach is going to be would have the opportunity to get a potential franchise quarterback with that pick with Darnold or Rosen. The Giants have interviewed a bunch of candidates, but why Matt Patricia now in the lead? What impressed him the most for the Giants' front office? Well, he's, he's obviously you know, a really bright guy. Um, a former rocket scientist. I mean, I think literally he was a rocket scientist. Um, he um, his defenses have been very adaptable. I mean, if, if you last couple of years, Belichick has traded away, you know, his best young defensive players and Jamie Collins and Chandler Jones, and and they got off to a bad start this year defensively. But Patricia got that fixed. Um, I, I think that he's really good at making in-game adjustments, which is so crucial in the league. Um, and from what I understand, he really he commands a room, which Dave Gettleman, the new general manager, said is so important in, in the coach that he's looking for. He wants a CEO type um, and, and somebody who, who's a great leader. And from everything I understand about Patricia, he those are some of his best qualities. So... You know, we'll wait. We'll wait and see what happens. You know, the longer this goes on, it becomes clear that the that the Giants are waiting for one of the coaches who who, who are not available to be hired right now because their teams are still alive. And you know, if the Patriots were to lose on Saturday night to the Titans, then this thing will be done by early next week. Gary Myers, New York Daily News, with us. And, and, and Gary, the the big knock on Patricia is the appearance. He's got the beard. He wore the stupid Goodell yeah. clown T shirt. Is does that hold any weight with what the Giants are doing, or is that just a lot of uh, a lot of story about nothing? Well, I would think that um, if Matt Patricia was concerned that his appearance was holding him back, or somebody he trusted like Belichick was saying, "Hey, Matt, you know, put a razor to your chin." Um, clean it up a little bit because I've heard that teams are shying away from you because you know they they think you know you're a little too messy looking. I think he would have cleaned himself up a little bit. Um, you know, to me, you look you look at him on the sidelines and you're going, really? You know, a guy who he wears his cap backwards, he's wearing a sweatshirt, he's got that long, you know, bushy beard. Is that the image that the organization wants to portray but you know ultimately does it really make a difference um the, the guy is you know a really smart guy um he's a really good coach um he comes from upstate new york so he's got some new york roots in him um as far as the goodell t-shirt i would have to think that if he knew for sure that when he came off that plane after the super bowl that that picture would go viral on the internet and people would be questioning his maturity or his intelligence wearing something like that in public. I'd have to think he wouldn't have worn it. I think it was more in, in, in the moment and uh, somebody probably tossed him that t-shirt at some point. He just put it on as a joke, you know, as a, in support of Tom Brady. And um, I, I, I'd have to imagine that John Mara asked him about that when they had that interview last Friday but uh, I, I don't think that's going to hold them back from getting the job if, you know, if, if that's what the direction the Giants are ultimately going. Gary Myers from the New York Daily News, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for making time. No problem. Have a great day.